Hello and welcome to Excelibur. In this video, I'll show you how we can operate mat macros between two different sheets. Okay, so on the screen you see uh, that there is an example that we have the sheet one where we have a vendor name and the quantity from the vendors. So assume that this quantity is updated every week, right? And on the second sheet, we have the same vendors with some more information and the total quantity but this new quantity which is a weekly quantity is missing so if i go to the sheet 2 we'll see it is for vendor b but this quantity is missing similarly on sheet 3 and similarly on sheet 4 okay so this is our final sheet that we require and this is uh, the sheet on the left side which from which we get our weekly data right so i'll now create a macro which will push in this value quantity value per week into this field right for all the different vendors on different sheets okay so let's uh, like uh, i'll not uh, write that ma macro i'll just uh, try to record it right so it makes it more easier so i'll go to the developer tab and here on this button which says record macro i'll click re record macro so and then click on okay now my recording has already started so i copy my first value from the sheet one i paste it I go to the sheet one of the second worksheet and paste it at the required place and you see my total quantity also increases because there's a formula for sum here now I again go back to the sheet one I copy the second value from here and I go to the sheet two of this final sheet on the vendor B and I paste it here then back here I copy this and then on the sheet 3 here I paste it like this then again to the first one I copy the data for vendor D and I paste it here for the vendor D okay so that's what all I needed to do and now I'll go back and press this stop recording button so once I'm done my recording is ready and my macro is ready now if you want, we want to check what's in the code we can open visual basic okay under the modules we'll have our macro recorded so this is our whole macro let's first try to understand this so what it does is it selects the range c2 it copies it and then it changes from the first sheet to the like the first sheet is named input and the second sheet worksheet is named final so it activates the final worksheet and activates the sheet one on the final and then pastes the result then it goes back to the input sheet again copies the next range which is the c3 and then copies it and then goes to final goes to the sheet two of the final selects this range b4 and then pastes it okay so that's how this copy and paste thing is done okay now what we'll do is we'll first change some values here so for example this is our uh, total quantity now I'll move this code total quantity to the initial quantity here so I'll make this 68 and I'll remove the new quantity from here I'll go to sheet 3 I'll make this initial quantity as 123 and remove this quantity here similarly I'll make this 155 and remove this new quantity and on the sheet 1 I will make this 121 and remove the new quantity so this is my final sheet and now on the sheet 1 let's enter some new values for this week so this could be any value here ok and let's run the macro again ok so so we'll open visual basic here and run the macro again okay and once you run it you see that on the sheet 1 we get this 89 from here right on the sheet 2 we get 63 sheet 3 we get 44 and on sheet 4 we get 21 so this way like every week when we get this new input data this can, that can be fed into the final sheet using the same macro you don't have to do that manually so i hope this uh, video is helpful for your work if you like this please subscribe to my channel excelibur thank you very much